Um, so what are you guys waiting for? Time to cancel. It's time. It's time. My name is Kiki, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. What I like to do is talk about anything and everything classic rock. And I'm asking you nicely. If you have not subscribed already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, as well as the notification ding-dong bell. You will then be a part of the Kiki Classic Rock family if you love all things classic rock. And every time I upload a video, you're going to get notified. Wow. Also, if you're a classic rock lover, head on over to kiki.fm. You can download it on your phone, Android, iPhone, whatever, and your desktop. All of that fun stuff. Nonstop classic rock and more. Kiki.fm. Go and check it out, please and thank you. Motley Crue. Now, I'm talking about these cats today because while everyone else is canceling their tour and giving out refunds to their fans so they can put the money back into their pockets, these guys are kind of hanging on for dear life. Really Really hoping that this tour is still going to happen. And I'm not sure if you knew or not, but lots of people are out of work right now. I'm just throwing it out there. On April 8th, at that point, the world had been shut down for a little bit. Now, on that day, the governor of Las Vegas came out and said that everything was going to be shut down there until further notice. And on that same day, on April 8th, Tommy Lee came out and said, yep, our tour, it is still a go, kids. Listen, I, I was still really, really being very, very optimistic, but we have to be real here as well. And stadiums are really generally outside. So as we get later into the year, it gets it gets a bit cold and it's tough to have a stadium show outside when it's snowing because the stadium I was going to go to is in Boston at Fenway Park and that's, that's open. It's way open. And you're not going to be sitting through a show in the snow. A few weeks before Tommy's announcement, the crew, they've all been super, super supportive, telling fans, to wash your hands and stay home. Nikki has been really, really supportive of all of the closures happening. And on May 27th, Tommy Lee came out and told everyone to basically stay the F home because we got stadium stuff to do. Now think about it. If all of us just really take a trip back to March, which at this point was not long ago at all, none of us would have been able to call all of the cancellations of large events that were going to eventually take place. We we all have to admit that we we kind of knew it was going to come to this and it was going to happen. A lot of us didn't want to accept it, myself included. But no one, I mean no one would have ever been able to call this worldwide event just taking over and taking down everything. Now just a week ago, Taylor Swift and John Bon Jovi canceled their summer tours specifically so fans could go ahead, get the refund, and get their money back. John Bon Jovi actually canceled came out and said that he canceled this tour alongside Brian Adams so fans could get their refunds to go and buy groceries. John is still operating his JBJ Soul Kitchens. There are three of them in New Jersey. He even went and washed dishes one day because because he's John Bon Jovi. He's JBJ. Hey, hey, hey. He's the coolest, right? I mean, John is all about all about giving back to the community. So again, him and Taylor just came out and they said, this is what we're doing. Here it is. A few days ago, whoever runs the Motley Crew social media came out and said, you know what? The bands don't decide if they are going to cancel. Huh? And whoever, you know, again, runs their social media said that they're still waiting for a decision as well. Now, if Taylor Swift and John Bon Jovi can cancel, I really think that Motley Crew can call the shots on this one. What do you think? I mean, there is still really lots and lots of fans out there all you gotta do is go and read through their social media posts that think that this stadium tour is going to happen starting on June 18th but we all know it's not going to we all know it. even though it has not officially been announced that the stadium tour is canceled we all deep down inside unfortunately know that it's not taking place I mean geez come on Oktoberfest has already been canceled where I'm at does that mean the win is sizzle for me I say, listen, just, just go ahead and cancel the shows already. No postponement. Just do a full-on 
cancel. Let your fans collect a go, and you know what? We'll try this again next year. I mean, if anyone was looking forward to this show, it was definitely me. I mean, come on. This is slated to have been the biggest concert of the summer of 2020. But you know what? It's, it's time to cut the cord and stop saying no one knows anything. They know what's going on. Of course they know what's going on. I mean, I personally think it all comes down to the money, honey, and I know that the powers that be are just trying to hang on, hold on with, with you know, fingernails on the blackboard holding on. But I say just do the right thing. Cancel. Ladies, listen, we're still coming to your party next year. We're still going to be there. Who doesn't want to see Motley Crue, Def Leppard, Joan Jett, and Poison? I do. I want to see. I'm going. I'm still going. I'm still going to go ahead and get my tickets for the 2021 stadium tour of these amazing acts. So yeah, really, it just comes down to doing the right thing. Do the right thing, because you know what? It's all about karma, baby. It's all about karma. Guys, have a great day, a great night, a great weekend, a great everything. Support your artists wherever and whenever you can. Buy a CD, watch a live feed. Let's support all of our favorite artists who are currently out of work. Let's do what we can to support everyone, because we love you. And you're the reason why us who do this type of thing are sitting here. So again, we can't wait to see all of you out on the road once again. And guys, remember, most importantly, most importantly, keep rocking.